We talked about how this election cycle it was all about the margins, whether it was for President of the United States, the United States Senate, or Mayor of Las Vegas, and it was all about voter turnout. So where are we at now on this morning after? Let's check in live with News 3's Fidel Moreno Meza. So you have Shelley Berkeley and Victoria Seaman. Where are we at, Fidel? Hey, good morning, Kim. All the votes still need to be counted before a winner is officially declared on who will take office right here at Las Vegas City Hall. Now take a look here at the numbers this morning. You can see that uh, Shelley Berkeley is leading or Victoria Seaman by uh, just about 12,000 votes. Now we spoke with Berkeley last night at her watch party. Here's what she had to say. I'm excited. I was delighted with the amount of support that I received throughout the community. And you could tell from this party, it was pretty chaotic in a really good way. And um, I'm just feeling really good today and, and anxious to get back into, into governing. Now, Berkeley did say that top of mind for her will be public safety, affordable housing, supporting small businesses and increasing resources for those experiencing homelessness. Now, again, this race has not been called as of this morning. We are going to reach out to both the Berkeley campaign and the Seaman campaign for comment this morning to see what they have to say as more votes get counted throughout today. We'll, of course, bring you any updates we learn both on air and online. For now, reporting in downtown Las Vegas, Fidel Moreno Mesa, News 3.